Hey guys, welcome to another deep playthrough. This time Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Despite me still doing playthroughs uh, on Metro Exodus, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Gran Turismo Sport, Ratchet and Clank. Uh, also still doing Watch Dogs 2. Uh, Skyrim Special Edition and one that I probably won't finish because I already completed the game myself but I did start a playthrough Grand Theft Auto 5 <coughs> despite me doing all those <coughs> playthroughs still I still decided today hmm, it's maybe a good time to start another one not sure why but um, somehow my eye fell on Assassin's Creed Odyssey and I really it wasn't on my radar but I read, uh, I started reading a bit about it, uh, checking YouTube, and actually the reviews were pretty damn positive, or not to say raving. Uh, and I did a bit of playtesting, I downloaded it today, and uh, it was uh, for a good cheap price. And uh, it's indeed, it looks amazing, they really captured the, what I expect ancient Greek to have looked like very well. Um, so uh, here I am, a brand spankingly new deep playthrough. Um, it will be a deep playthrough, my niche, so I will be trying to get as much from the experience as possible. Uh, that's why also my playthroughs are quite long and that's also probably why I have multiple running still uh, simultaneously. Because I, it's just uh, sometimes a bit too long to finish them all in one go. Um, but I will be doing like the side quests, collectibles, uh, checking on the lore, the, the getting uh, as many upgrades as possible. So really getting through the game thoroughly. It won't be like a, um, a, a speed run or a, a demo of how you get through the game or the primary campaign from A to Z as quick as possible. No, it's really like going through it um, as deep as possible. Uh, we'll also be doing it with maxed out graphics, 4K HDR. I will be doing the recording in 30 FPS because despite my 280 Ti 1900K PC, running this game maxed out and also recording it with a capture card in HDR on the same PC, it's just a bit much. Uh, so I had to dial down the recording frame rate to 30, but I will be playing uh, in a bit higher frame rate, hopefully. Um, so mixed graphics, uh, broad approach, I will be doing zero HUD. I really dislike the uh, tendency in modern games where you have over cluttered HUD, HUDs, where everything is dumped down to the, to the most lowest common denominator gamer. Like uh, it really spoils the fun for more like the, the gamers like me who are used to like uh, the 90s games where you really have to figure out stuff yourself and also um, that new way it totally uh, d d d removes any sense of accomplishments once you have figured something out yourself so the the hub will be fully turned off maybe in the beginning i will keep the tips and the hints uh, activated just to get to grips with the game mechanics but it will be uh, mostly zero hut max Graphics and I will also be playing on the max difficulty. I hope that's manageable, but uh, yeah, that's what I will be aiming for. Uh, I will quickly run you through the options and then just get right in there. I do have to put my timer on because I will be doing approximately 40 minute episodes. Otherwise the file size become too big and YouTube still has problems processing uh, huge uh, 4K HDR style files with getting them to actually to display in 4K on YouTube. So I have to cut them off at 40 minutes, which I do think is uh, more than long enough for the average uh, YouTube viewer. And besides that, uh, it's yeah, actually not that big of a deal because I hardly have any viewers, but um, doing it for the record anyways, not too long episodes. Anyways, here are the options. So display, it's uh, 4K, 60 FPS playing. Uh, HDR is on. This is the ultra high preset with everything to the max. And I already uh, was in the game world for like 10 minutes and it looks amazing in my book. 
Gameplay, aim assist I will put off. Uh, if it's um, hard to uh, do headshots, maybe I will put a light uh, aim assist on, but for now we'll keep it off. HUD, as mentioned, everything turned off. Uh, kudos to the developer that they give this option. Uh, and for now I will keep the tips and uh, the messages, I will keep them on to just get into the game mechanics. Sounds, everything is uh, default. Language, English, subtitles also off, it's also unimmersive. I will I try to have as lead, the least possible amount of distractions uh, of the, 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 the game world uh, screen. So no HUD, no subtitles, and the controls, I will probably uh, get back into this menu while in-game to just get to grips with it, but they're not that uh, complicated actually. So that is about the options, then uh, I already started the recording like half an hour ago, uh, and then I accidentally pressed this button. This is a discovery tour, which is actually pretty cool. It uh, gives like, uh, I think a guided tour through uh, about, uh, to the uh, landmarks uh, on the, of ancient Greece, like the Acropolis and stuff. But it actually also is like a separate application. And also if you exit, exit it, you first uh, get thrown back to your desktop. So that was not really uh, handy while I was doing this, this little intro babble. So uh, I decided to start it over, but I will do that discovery tour probably maybe after uh, the, the, the main um, playthrough that's, or maybe like a, an episode in between or something to just uh, get uh, some uh, Lessons about ancient Greek. It's really a nice addition. I must say now the store we have but I won't be doing here's also the store and more uh, DLC adventures and content I won't be doing it because for now. Let's first see how far I get in the main campaign. It's apparently this um, In the main game, I mean apparently this game is huge. So first let's try to uh, get some progress done in that before considering any DLCs if any at all uh, this is the Ubisoft Club, won't be doing that. Uh, so the store is not for now. Benchmark, yeah, the frame rate, it's not amazing, but it's playable enough for me. My stories, no idea what it is, but I won't be clicking it be, uh, at the risk of it bumping me, uh, throwing me back to my desktop. Don't want that now. Options, we just went through it. Ubisoft Club. I don't mind for all that uh, social uh, stuff. I just, uh, I'm more of an old school gamer. It's um, a singer player, adventure and action games. Quit the desktop, nope. All right, load game. I, I started the game just to do some play testing. Had a lot of difficulty getting HDR uh, to stick with the recording, but I find a, I found a workaround. So that's why I, uh, there's already a load game, but we will now be starting a new game. So guys, sorry for all the babbling, but I, uh, yeah, I do sometimes like to uh, talk all those points out of my system. Uh, and I've done so now, so let's dive right in. Here we go. Looking forward. Yes, overwrite. King Leonidas of Sparta, 480 ready. before Christ. Battle of Thermopylae. Tell me, Vinakis, have you ever gone fishing with your son? No, never. <coughs> A soldier's life is all I've had the honor to know. <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry. I would have liked to have gone fishing with my son. Amazing. Spartans! Every breath that you have taken has led you to this moment. Every drop of blood, sweat, and tear, all of it 
has led to where you stand right now. The Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say we drench the gods with their blood. What say you, Spartans? For our sons! For our daughters! For Sparta! Holy shit! He's not getting around anymore. God damn it. Can you imagine having to fight in those wars? Press RB to light attack. Right, here I am. Alright, we can also do a bull rush. There you go. Good work. Oops, let's do a parry. Right, we have to get to those dudes over there. Nice. Oops. God damn it. Alright, I will do a parry. Nice. Oops. God damn it. That worked. Alright, let's do another parry. Come on, brother. Alright, one down. And the other one. Nice. Alright, let's get the others. Here we go. There you go, dude. Alright, let's get the other one. Nice. Oops. It's a bit crowded. Alright, let's do a parry. Uh, heavy attack. Holy shit. Right, what's this all? And the graphics are really amazing, I must say. Unix Spartan, I'll bring Xerxes your head! For the gods! Xerxes sends his sheep to slaughter! Come, Persian! I will right, bring Xerxes right. your head, you insolent Spartan fool! Come and get it! Come on, brother! Your bloodline ends today, Spartan! I'll get drunk on your blood as the crows feed on your eyes. What? You will die and you will fail. Xerxes is the king of kings. 
All will bow before him after I crush you! Come, fool! Enough talk! Time to die! My son is oh, more of should... a warrior than you! Once I'm done with you, King, all of Sparta's sons will be slaves for Xerxes! Sparta's sons would rather die! My parry didn't really work! That can be arranged! Damn it! Not so tough without your army to protect you! Then why are you bleeding so much? That works. Right. I find it a bit annoying that my fairy doesn't work. Let's try it again. Yes, there it works. Nice. No match for a Spartan. We are betrayed, my king. Xerxes knows of the path behind the mountain. They are coming. Who are coming? Ah, uh, shit. We are Spartans. My well, audio, not. audio is Spartans. not working. Ah, now it's working. That word will mean nothing. When Xerxes wipes your bloodline from the face of... <laughs> Day was a day the Persians will never forget. Holy shit. Tomorrow is a day the world will remember. Holy shit. That was pretty gruesome. Finally. This is big, Layla. Did you really think it's the spear? This is the one. The book was almost right on top of it. I've never been so lucky in my life. Okay, let's start her up. Lara Are you Pearl. sure we can trust this thing? I mean, the book could be... Just started, Victoria. You're the boss, boss. I'll prep it for you. Okay, so, worth noting, I've made some changes since you were last in here. <laughs> There's no keeping up with the tech industry these days. I can crank up the simulation to maximum sensory synchronization, if you're up for it. Alright, difficulty level. For players focusing on the story or who are not very familiar with RPG mechanics, you won't need to be careful how you choose and upgrade your abilities and gear to be too efficient. Standard experience for players who are familiar with RPG mechanics. Be careful how you choose and upgrade your abilities and gear. It's important to remain efficient across the game. For players looking for a challenge who are also experts with RPG mechanics, optimizing how you choose and upgrade your abilities and gear is mandatory to remain efficient across the game. You like pain till this all hurts. If you come out the other side, you'll be a champion. You can change the difficulty level at any time in the pause menu. Select A. Okay, we'll go with this one. I already noticed I, there are lots, quite some RPG elements in this game. And I was playtesting and I just encountered a, a wolf, which I got rid of quite a, 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 some earlier without any problems whatsoever. But this was a level five wolf and the main character was level one. And I could hardly dent his... Um, um, his health, so 
a nightmare if you encounter anything that is like five levels above you you're you're a certified uh, death dead so but let's see how far we get we just try need to be a bit more creative i guess so nightmare it is full speed ahead i want to see everything this baby's got go big or go home that's what i always say let me know if it's too intense for you. I can always change the settings later. This bit will let me know how much information will be fed to you during your time in the Animus. I will be disabling the HUD anyway, so this is not really relevant, but a more traditional experience. Markers are displayed at all times and quest objectives are given to you automatically. No way I'm going with that one. A newer approach to playstyle, the user must investigate the world to uncover targets and quest objectives. This is the way Assassin's Creed Odyssey is meant to be experienced. experienced. Go with this, but then I will go a bit more hardcore with fully uh, di disabled HUD. You don't need to worry about me. I've got this. A little autonomy never killed anyone. At least, I don't think so. Just let me know if you need assistance and I can always add the helpers back in. Listen, Layla, before you go off, if this book is right, this spear, this story, it will change everything. You're putting a lot of faith in a fairly unreliable source. Historian or not, this guy wrote about magical objects and the will of the gods. He's not Homer. Irodotos was the first recorded historian, so there's a lot more truth in that text than you think. I mean, what better way is there of finding Isu artifacts than by trusting in the guy who claimed to meet an actual descendant? I know, but... I need you to trust me. You could be right. This spear, this book, it could all be crap. But something tells me it isn't, and I'm certainly not gonna let Abstergo find out first. You're right. We haven't got much to lose anyway. There's just one small problem. What is it? This manuscript is in rough condition, to say the least. The DNA found on the spear has identified two different individuals. You're gonna have to pick which strand of DNA to pursue. The choice is yours. All right, I heard that actually Cassandra is a very cool character, very well uh, voice acted and stuff, but I'm already playing Tomb Raider and um, yeah, I also played Gears five and everything is nowadays a female uh, lead character so i'm going to go with uh, the old school uh, grunt alexius also find it more fitting in like the the whole um assassin's creed um yeah lore so to say probably totally politically incorrect but i don't really care m that much about that i find it a bit tiring to be honest uh, so I'm going with the classical uh, Assassin's Creed uh, Altair, uh, the other dude, uh, uh, kind of dude. So uh, Alexios it is. What's the other dude's name? You had Altair and then you had from, let's, one sec, I will just make it a learning moment. Um, AC3 character it's an italian name i think character ah no ac3 that was in the us that was connor or something i mean ac2 then probably the classical dude Ezio Auditore. Yeah, I think it was Ezio. So you had Altair. And then. <coughs> yeah. I think it was Ezio. So you had Altair, Ezio, and I'm now going with Alexios. Here we go. Oh, I have to hold it. He will lead us down the right path, I'm sure. All right, boss. We're finally good to go. 431 BCE, here we come. The start of Peloponnesian War. Good luck in there. No pressure or anything, but we're all depending on you. A circle BCE? isn't going to win this time. If what the book says is true and we do actually find the artifact, the assassins will finally have a chance to rise again. You can do it! Oh, and Victoria, read the book. It holds the secrets I won't be able to find on my own when I'm in there. Aye, aye, Captain. Before Common Era. 
So I thought BC before Christ, but this is probably also something politically correct. You cannot say Christ anymore, probably. Kefalonia Island. I went to Greece when I was uh, very young and I do remember it, it looked very similar to this. There's also a boat uh, sailing in this game. It's pretty amazing. Water physics are also amazing. It's all pretty amazing. Alexios. Hey, shit face! Get down here! <laughs> His face was pretty funny. Cyclops got a message for you. <clears throat> Tell your boss he can stick it. That's for last week! <laughs> Malaka! Malaka. The Cyclops said you like to act tough. So act tough! Get a little closer and I will. You should know by now. The Cyclops always collect his debts. You come out there. If the Cyclops wants to teach me, tell him to come here himself. Never mess with the Cyclops! Right, one down. Two down. Last week? <laughs> This shit happens every week. <sighs> I can't keep doing this. Randomly killed two dudes. No. Nah. Not Thanks for the warning. And not faced whatsoever. <sighs> what happened to you? It's nothing, Phoebe. All taken care of now. The Cyclops again, huh? Hasn't he learned his lesson yet? Apparently not. Of course. Help yourself. You hungry too, Icarus? <laughs> Do you think Zeus will bless me with an ego like he blessed you, Alexios? Maybe you could ask him for me. All right. I'll try to put in a good word for you. Finally. So, what are you doing here? Oh, I almost forgot. Marcos is looking for you. <sighs> what does that weasel want now? Don't know. He wants you to meet him at his new house. On his vineyard. Wait, what? A vineyard? Malaka! It's on the road to Sami. He says wine will make him rich. Since when has he had the vineyard? Yesterday, I think. So, Marcos, who owes me drag me, is buying vineyards. With what money? I don't know. Where can I find Marcos's new... Beautiful estate. You know the statue of Zeus on Mount Ainos? It's south of that. All right. Well, I guess I owe Marcos a little visit. Thank you, Phoebe. <clears throat> I'll go tell Marcos you're coming. My head. 
Ah, they were not dead. Choices. The choices you make will have impacts both seen and unseen. Consider your options carefully as some affect the story and are permanent. So you have like a fight option, a justice option, a love option and an exit option. That's how I interpreted those symbols on the top. So I can kill them or I can let them go and I will let them go. Fun's over. Tell that one-eyed freak, if he sends you here again, I'm going to cut his other eye out and feed it to my bird. I'll see Marcos as soon as I'm dressed. South of the statue, and that's what I really... I'll have to go up top to get dressed. That's what I really like, is that I can figure it out myself and by looking into the game world. That way you also are way more connected to the world and get to know it much more because you have to pay attention for instance to road signs or landmarks like that statue it's so much uh, more fun I'm not going to get caught without armor twice today playing it without those ridiculous modern huts anyways I also wanted to say something else does the HDR look a bit good? yes I think it does um, there is still like an objective marker which I really want to disable but I will do that uh, for now that's probably because I have hints and tips uh, still on for now we'll keep it on but as soon as possible I will disable them all because it's also this hold A to climb it's so retarded but for now for the start it might be a bit handy but I cannot imagine going through the full game with all these button prompts. Anyways, we need to get up there. But first, let's also check a bit what's here. Quite impressive draw distances. There's a shipwreck over there. But let's not get too carried away with... Um, everything all the side activities apparently this game is really huge brimming with content so I have to keep it a bit Phoebe slept here again poor kid no place to call home then take her in man um, I have to keep it a bit focused otherwise I will be Hunting everything and nothing at the same time. Let's get this on. Right, inventory menu. This is the map, so we are in Catalonia. Um, it doesn't look that big, but I think it is quite big. All these little islands. Macedonia. I wonder where the Acropolis is. I think probably here somewhere. Attica is one of the bigger islands. Uh, we are now over here. And we have the quests. Another day, another drachma. Odyssey chapter. So it begins. Our story began on the down and out Isle of Cephalonia when Alexius was greeted by two parties, one friendly and one not. The information they both brought with them, however, was news to him. Current objective, equip your gear. All right, I will untrack it. Then at least the uh, item in the game world, the um, the prompt, of the, the, the objective marker will not be as intrusive or a little bit less intrusive. It will still be there, I think. Inventory. All right, now what? Loadouts allow you to quickly assign and swap your weapons and pieces of gear. Cycle icon. What does... This is the hunter loadout. I'm not sure what this is. Fire. Death? No idea what this all is. Warrior. What I also find weird damage. 
Hunter does 106 damage. Average damage dealt with the ranged weapons. Value based on current level and ranged weapon damage per second can be modified by perks and mastery abilities. Warrior is only 16 damage with my melee weapons. Probably because I have like a wooden sword or something. Common sword, 14 DPS. Plus four warrior damage. Go to blacksmith to engrave. Engravings will uh, uh, upgrade weapons. It's so rusty, you can be sure this sword has changed bandit hands many times over. Assassin damage. Average damage dealt with assassinations and knockouts. Value based on current level can be modified by perks and mastery abilities. So this is assassination, melee damage, ranged weapons. Health, it's only 68. Total amount of damage that can be taken before dying. Value based on current level and modified by item perks. You can also do a quick save here. Um, we have like heads, arms, legs, torso, uh, yeah, under legs, lower legs. This I don't know. Let's click this. By the way, these are the detailed stats. And I'm mostly at critical hit modifier, critical hit damage, while well, full health. Fire build up. Elemental modifier, fire and poison. Defensive, health, armor, melee, ranged, elemental. Chance to ignore half damage. Utility, adrenaline per hit. Adrenaline critical hit. Assassination kill, headshot kill, bow charging speed, movement speed while crouching. And more or less everything at zero, which is also logical. As I just booted up the game. Let's do some armor equipment. What's this? Engraving list. Browse locked and unlocked engravings from this list. Visit the blacksmith to engrave gear and weapons with these perks. Alright, let's see about the list. It, uh, what I read is that they are all pretty low. But they do stack, so um, yeah, if you have uh, all your uh, gear with like the same type of engraving, you can actually, instead of like 5% boost, you in total have like 30% boost or something, which is quite substantial. Visit the blacksmith to engrave gear with additional properties. Inflict, complete the following challenge to unlock. Ah, you have to unlock them, alchemist. Inflict damage over time, 200 times. It's quite a lot. Um, all right, let's just equip something. Miss Theos tunic, armor plus six. Go to the blacksmith to engrave. You need hides and drachma for that. A tunic this simple is ideal for everyday wear. That's pretty minimal, but it's some kind of a shoulder strap. And let's do this one. Mistios's belt. Here we go. And that's about it, I guess. Nothing to wear. No helmets. No arms, equipment. And this one is locked. So I would say that about wraps that up. By the way, these are the um, resources. Dragme used to buy items in shop. The Dragme coin is stamped with the Eagle of Zeus and is commonly found on bandits. Pelts. Soft leather, used to engrave armor. Soft leather is primarily earned by hunting predator animals or recovered from dismantled gear. Then we have iron metal, used to engrave weapons. Iron metal can be mined in caves, looted from soldiers and bandits or recovered from dismantled gear. So you can also dismantle your gear. Olive wood, used to upgrade the Adrestia. I think that's um, Alexios' ship. Olive wood can be Salvaged from sinking ships and certain wild trees or recovered from dismantled gear. 
ancient tablets contain lost engineering wisdom and are found scattered throughout the world in ancient ruins. His wisdom can be used to upgrade the Adrestia. Obsidian glass used to upgrade gear. This rare volcanic min mineral can be looted from leaders stolen from nation chests in forts or earned by completing war contracts and conquest battles. War contract or conquest battles. Precious gems used to engrave gear. Precious gems are carried by mercenaries and earned by completing bounties. All right. So these two are for the Adrestia. This is to engrave. This is to engrave. Uh, so leather is for armor. Iron metal is for weapons. This is also to upgrade gear. And this is to engrave gear. Clear. The abilities are, these are all the perk points. Leveling up, earning XP increases your level and awards an ability point to spend on abilities. New abilities are progressively unlocked and can eventually be upgraded. We currently have these unlocked, I guess. So let's see what we have active. Hold the button to meditate, rest and move time forward. Press D-pad up to control Icarus. I use Icarus to tag enemies or locate targets. Increase its accuracy by synchronizing few points. Next upgrades. Uh, use Icarus to tag enemies or locate targets. Won't be doing that. That's all like unimmersive tagging, hot elements. It feels all like cheating. I will not be using any of those uh, abilities. Increase its accuracy by synchronizing few points. When controlling Icarus, harass. A target by pressing Y. When fighting multiple opponents, Icarus automatically targets one of them. Synchronize 25 more viewpoints. Assassination, baseline ability. These are all baseline abilities. Using the Spear of Leonidas, deal assassination damage to an unaware target, either killing or heavily damaging in them. Leap of Faith. Fail falling causes damage, but is never fatal. Falling does not cause damage. Actually, I don't like this one as well. It feels like cheating. I want the, the, the thrill, the excitement of being high up on the mountain and having the risk of falling to my death. Totally takes that out of the equation, which is a bummer in my book. But cannot really help it. Whistle, baseline ability. Press D-pad down to whistle. Whistle whistling attracts the attention of nearby enemies. Or you can also uh, call your horse, I guess. Man at arms. Press D-pad right to swap weapons. Equip a second weapon from the inventory menu and swap between them at any time. Required level 15. Required level 20. Assassination, I already have it. Synchronize 25 more viewpoints. Rest and move forward, no upgrades. And here we have defensive maneuvers, baseline ability, press X to dodge, tap left button plus right button to parry. Just before an attack hits, parry, dodge or roll out of danger. Perfectly timed dodges, briefly slow time, after a parry, your next hit deals 50% increased damage. Alright, clear. I have to be a bit quick because um, I'm already way over the 40 minute marker, but let's check out. I need to get to the quest menu. Locate the next objective using quest hints. Top left corner of the screen and map information. Once you've decided on a location to explore, tap A to place a marker on the map. All right, we need to do... Marcus bought a new vineyard on Cephalonia. He is in the southern part of Mount Enyos. That's what we are doing. Southern part of Mount Enyos. We'll be doing that in the next episode, guys. I have to quickly end this one and immediately continue in the next one. Hope you enjoyed. I for sure did. I really... Uh, my first impression is very positive on this game. So looking forward to dive deeper into it. Um, hope to see you in the next one for the meantime do not forget guys always you yourself do keep on gaming see you later